Hey everybody, welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with my bestie Mandy. And I'm here with my bestie Jessica in Vegas. <laughs> All right, so let's talk November. Oh my gosh, it's November already. Can you believe almost, it? Almost, almost. We're, I gotta so go we Christmas gotta shopping. start our November oh TBR. Gosh. Yes, so okay. November TBR. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I was getting excited for November. Okay. Are you gonna start singing Christmas songs? Are you one of those? I am. November oh. 1st, the Halloween stuff gets put away and my Christmas stuff comes out. Yeah. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are still doing our Road to 1K giveaway. We are still, <laughs> the AC's on. We're still trying to give you guys that uh, best one book, right? <laughs> yes, we're still trying to get, we're still doing our Road to 1K giveaway. We are still giving away the Beth Flynn book. Hit the subscribe button. We want to give it to you. <laughs> no, hit the subscribe button so you can be entered in to win that. I'm trying to cross my legs here and you're like acting like I'm crawling my all over here. All right, let's talk November TBR. <laughs> We're. <you> <laughs> I can't feel my boob. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're and really tired. And then I'm like tired. moving out of your way and you're like, why are you acting like I'm crawling it. all over you? How did you do with last year's, or last year? <laughs> How did you do with last month's TBR? Out of the 15 books we put on the TBR, I read six. I read four. <laughs> We're failing at this TBR thing. No, okay. it, it's good. I'll try harder. I, I'll try. Okay. We'll yeah. get it next time. Yeah, so we got 15 each again this month. Yes. Let's see how we do. What's your first one? Okay, my first one is going to be a new release by Adriana Locke. It is called Flame. It is part of the Carmichael series. And I believe it is the last one in the series. And this is Fox's story, who, if you've read any of the series, like Fox is kind of the guy like we've been waiting for. Um, and I, I tried to find out who his female love interest was going to be, and I could not find anywhere where it said. So maybe I missed that. So I don't know who she is, but she needs to have a marriage of convenience for some reason, and somehow Fox ends up being that guy. So I am very, very excited about this. I know she just posted recently that Flame has been pushed back a little bit, but it's still coming out in November, so I'm very excited. Okay, read it. So I have a new release. This, this book releases on October 27th. So it'll be out now. Ready to go. Ready to go. So this is called No Simple Lie. This is by Samantha Christie. So this is a standalone, but it does, it's number three in the McQuaid brothers world. Um, but this is a single mom, newly divorced. There's like a custody battle going on. She is next door neighbor to the hottie McHottie. Um, she doesn't know this, but she goes to him for her annual and he is her gynecologist. Um, I wrote down that it was a widow thing, but I don't know that if it was widow, because maybe he's the widow. Maybe I just wrote it down wrong. Anyhow, single mom though, custody battle situation. He's her gynecologist unknowingly. Yikes. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. okay, my next read, I'm gonna read over Thanksgiving break. It's okay. called Maple Sugar Crush. And this is about, Josie, who is a Powerball winner, and I read the first book in this series. There's only two for some reason. It was the Pumpkin Spice book. Oh, yeah. So I enjoyed it, so I thought this would be fun for Thanksgiving. There's really not a lot of books centered around Thanksgiving. No. So this is Josie, who's a Powerball winner, and she's just found it too hard to date because anybody who's interested in dating her, she's got to be like, well, are they dating me because they want all my money, or do they actually like me? So she's just found it's too hard to date. And her family is coming to visit her for Thanksgiving and she doesn't want to deal with the why aren't you dating, why haven't you found somebody stuff. So she asks Riley, her crush, to be her fake date and for Thanksgiving when her okay. family is in town. Okay. So it's, I think it's a pretty quick read, but I thought it'd be fun to read over Thanksgiving. Okay. So the next book I have on my list comes out on October 31st. It is Carnage by Chantal Tessier. It is the next book in her crazy world that we all are enjoying. And um, it is, it, we all know what it is. I'm here for it. So 
I talked to a girl today at the signing who was telling me how much she loves Chantel Tessier mm -hmm. and she's like her writing is batshit crazy and she said but I am here for it yeah I did not get in that line that line was there she's still down there signing things and it's it ended what two hours ago I yeah I, no I couldn't I couldn't handle it so oops one. Oops, I didn't get her line. I just couldn't. It was just too much. Okay. Okay. My next book, and this is my only other Thanksgiving read, is called The Thanksgiving Hookup by Jay Sterling. This is about River and Sky. Sky works on an airline and River is the pilot. And he's your typical Playboy pilot. And she doesn't like him because of you know, his heartbreaking ways. And then there's a snowstorm and they get stuck together overnight or maybe a couple of nights, but it's like the shared room, you know, all mm -hmm. that fun stuff. So again, yeah. another fun read for Thanksgiving yeah. break. Now I have one more that's a new release. Again, it's an October 31st release. We looked for November releases and it was really hard. I don't think there's a lot of things being released in November. I know a lot of things are being released in December, but not necessarily November. October seemed to be a busy month. Yeah, October was a very busy month. So this one again is releasing on October 31st and it is by Ruby Dixon. It is the oh. second book in her um, Ice Planet Clones series. So this is the spinoff of the spinoff of Ice Planet Barbarians. So this is Surviving Scar, and that will again be out on the 31st. So I will be reading that. I was just gonna say, I'm gonna make a prediction that you at least nail one book on your TBR and it will be that one. Well, I have to finish the book I'm reading right now and then read the one that's before this one. So yeah, but, uh, probably, yeah. I, I think that's a pretty good pr prediction there. Okay, mm -hmm. the next book that I have on my TBR is By Fate I Conquer by Cora Riley. This is Emma and Greta's story. I would have honestly already read it, but I was trying to read the books for Love in Vegas, and so I'm like, ooh, this is going on my November TBR, and I will actually read it because I'm very excited about mm -hmm. it. Um, Jessica's talked about it quite a bit, but Emma and Greta are like, you know, the second generation basically of luca and aria and remo and seraphina their kids and so it's gonna kind of continue like the the mafia world into the second generation yeah. but the families are feuding but they're gonna fall for each other and i just love i guess i just love that drama of the mafia world mm -hmm. so i'm excited to read that one mm -hmm. do we ever like have a book <laughs> TBR are like not excited about it. I think like, the that's whole point sort of is redundant to be excited about it. Yes. That, that's the whole point. Yeah. Okay. So the next book I have is Dawn by S.J. Telly. I'm hearing a lot of amazing things about this one. This is the third book in her Alliance series. This so far from what I'm hearing about everybody is, or from everybody is this one. This is where it's at. He is the craziest, hottest, finest. I loved King. I liked Nero. I'm here for Dom. So I'm hoping, I think that and the audio doesn't come out until the new year. So bummer, I'm gonna have to actually read it, but that's okay. I'm here for it. Next. King. King. <laughs> By S.J. Tilly. And once again, I'm just gonna be like, why wouldn't you want this on your TBR? I just love the whole thing. I love the hand. So, I mean, this is where she goes out on a date with a guy who she assumes isn't married and mm -hmm. shame on her apparently is, which is gonna set shame off. Shame on him, not her. She doesn't know. It was a joke. Oh, oops, I'm really tired. <laughs> I was joking. Shame on her. I thought you were shaming the poor girl. <laughs> no, it was a joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. Like, shame on her for not knowing. Like, obviously she wouldn't know that. Like, you would assume if somebody's gonna date you, <laughs> they're not married. You assume. Anyway. Yes, so anyways, that's gonna set off a chain of events. Yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's good. It was really good. It's one of my favorite. I need to okay. like keep my head in the way of that light. It's bright. Okay, so tell us about your book. All right, you can put King down now. He needs to go to sleep. Placement. I do see his hand placement. We this all picture is yummy. See his hand placement. Okay. So the next book I have, <laughs> she's just staring at it, yeah, is Veiled really... in Hate by, so BJ, <laughs> by BJ Alpha. This is a 
I believe this is an arranged marriage or forced marriage, mafia, breeding, all the good stuff. Um, I don't think they like each other at all. I think it's, there's a lot of hate to love going on here. Um, love BJ Alpha. This is her latest release. And so I am all over it. You guys know this is right up my alley. It's darker. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. We'll be reading it this month. Okay. Daddy's Addiction by BJ Alpha. <laughs> so we had dinner at the meet and greet. BJ Alpha and her PA, Katie, came and sat with us and we were just talking about different books they've written. And she was talking about, I think, was it her mom who was asking her about like, oh, what's his addiction? <laughs> it's BJ Alpha's she was mom. like... <laughs> His teenage stepdaughter. <laughs> and they're from the UK. And I'm like, so. uh, thank yeah. you. Yes. So mm -hmm. I'm very, ex very, very well, excited. Cute. The story we were getting was in this in a British accent. Her mom sounded like this little cute little British yes. older lady. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I wanna see she said like she was she was a teenager, but I thought she even said she might have been like seventeen. Pretty young. Um, yeah. 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 I am not supposed to read yet. Okay. So the next book I have is Irish by Brittany Nicole. This is another mafia situation. Um, what it sounds like is the hero is in the Irish mafia. The heroine is in the Italian mafia. The heroine has been married and she's getting out somehow out of um, that marriage. It sounds like the marriage has probably been abusive. She's had... Um, she, the guy from the Irish Mafia, they, they've had a connection and um, she's ran off or gotten out with um, her children. And so I, I'm really interested in this one. And apparently the audio for it is hot. So I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Perfect Enemy by M. Robinson. And this is I was looking, I was trying to flip through and find their names, so I don't know their names yet, but because I got distracted by what she wrote to me. <laughs> so she's 20 years younger than him. He is just coming home, I think, from the military to, after two decades of serving. I come home and find nothing's changed except her. And she is his, my little sister's best friend. So she is off limits. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at that cover. The other thing you also love is a good amnesia. I do. You got an amnesia? What do you think this is? Bittersweet Memories by Katarina Mora. Oh, I bought that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bought that. Wait. Oh, I don't okay. So I'm just going to read the blurb on the back. It's very short, sweet, and simple. So it says, when her boyfriend breaks her heart, Alana goes after his older brother in a quest for revenge. It would have been quite simple. It would have been simple if he wasn't also her new boss. As they work together, it soon becomes clear Silas knows more about her than he should. He knows about her past, she's forgotten, and the memories that evade her. But some secrets are better left buried. Now, I think it's, uh, maybe it's the newest, I don't know if this is her new one. Her newest one, Teddy Hamilton just narrated. I'm not sure if it's this one or one of the other ones that I've just gotten, or just got from her. We met Teddy Hamilton last night too. That was an experience. I. I kept it together. I would like all of you to know I was a very good girl, but he recognized us and that was like highlight of the night for sure. That and BJ Alpha, they, they were hand in hand, but I think Mandy was a little worried, but I did keep it together. I didn't attack. Yeah. I was good. Proud of you. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next I have by Ivy Wild, my fiance is a bodyguard. I, I love a good bodyguard one. So this is about a girl. I don't know her name because we just bought these books, but she <laughs> is in an arranged marriage situation where she's being married off to somebody who's extremely, according to the author, like a significantly older than her. And so she's not happy about it. And she is falling for the bodyguard of her fiance, which sounds quite delightful. I love a taboo bodyguard romance and the fact that there's mafia and arranged marriage, it just sounds very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I have no clue what this one really is about. I really don't, but it's Sophie Lark's Grimstone. I, I have no clue. 
It was out for Halloween. It's out for Halloween and it's Sophie Lark. I mean, I don't need to know anything else. That's pretty much it. So okay. I don't think this has um, kitty cat primal play in it. So I think we're good. <laughs> so yeah, that's on the list. So this is by Kristen Granada, Someone You Love, and this was a book that I just told her I recently discovered you, told her what I had already read, and she recommended this one. And this is about Bryce, who was a former NFL player, and he has had a life-changing injury. So he's now disabled, and he's running this in. And Charlie is working on her mom's bucket list. Her mom passed away from cancer and only got like halfway through, so she's finishing it. So she goes to stay at this inn to work on that. And Bryce is like really like shut himself off from everyone because when he got injured, people who he thought would be there for him weren't. Okay. So it's, she described it kind of as like grumpy sunshine as well. And she's well known for being a very emotional writer. Probably not for people like you who don't have tear ducts, but the rest of us might cry. I have them, they're just frozen. Okay, so uh, the next I <laughs> can make her cry. Okay, that's <laughs> different. <laughs> just kidding. Um, Secret Obsession by S. Mastery is next on my list. This is the third book in her Hockey God series. This one is ex boyfriend's brother. Uh, who's also on the hockey team, and he is the goalie. The hero is also the goalie. Um, so uh, that's all I know about this one. You know, obsessive, crazy, crazy dude. And you guys know that I'm here for crazy ass stalkers. So, yeah. Okay, my next book is Stone Cold Notes by Julia Wolf. And this is about, again, I don't know her name, but she is writing to Callum, who is in the band Seasons Change and they've been pen pals for quite some time and then something happens and they both stop writing each other and now we're gonna fast forward three years later and they're going to be kind of thrown back into each other's orbit but some things have changed and he is going to be living up to his stone cold reputation i love faded and bloom so i'm very excited to read this one okay so i next. need a new word what every book I'm very excited. To read. I know. I'm very Sorry, excited guys. To read. We're, we're very excited. To we're also very thesaurus. tired. So that's going to be on my reading list for November. A thesaurus. A thesaurus. Okay, I need to block out that light with my big old head. Sorry, Please guys. Do I'm trying and the glare. Well, you block out that with your head. I'll put some of the books up there when they come up. Are you all right, all? ready? Go. That is obnoxious. <laughs> um, okay, so the next book that I have is something I saw on TikTok. So this could be like a disaster. It really could. I don't know. You guys know I've said I shouldn't trust it, but this really looks good. I don't know. So this is called The Ever King. It's by LJ Andrew. This, um, I saw it was really, like people were saying it's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean. We'll see. It's dark piratey. It's, it's, uh, it's fantasy romance. It's, it's romanticy. I don't know. It's downloaded. We'll see what happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brutal Intentions, Lilith and Vincent. <laughs> Jessica's talked about this book quite a bit. I love that so book. he marries her mom. Mm -hmm. Her mom is older uh, than him, mm -hmm. but still fairly young. Like she must have had her kids young, She's I guess. She's yeah. um, And he doesn't really want to be married to her mom. He wants her. And apparently, there's some breeding going there's, on. Lila is good about breeding. There's always breeding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next book is All the Little Rain Drop Drops. It is the newest. Wait. I'm deliriously happy to read that book this month. <laughs> you good job okay so the next one is all the little raindrops is the newest release by mia sheridan uh this is oh. what caught me with this one um i don't know a lot about it but it said these this is the story of the abduction of two teens who were abducted together escaped together Sorry. and then came back together to the scene of the abduction many years later 
And so that caught me and I love Mia Sheridan. She, her writing always sucks me right in. So I'm eager to see what this one's all about. You like that one? I used eager. Okay. <laughs> so next up I have Good Gone, gone. Good gone Bad by Gianna Darling. This is Harley Rose. Who isn't she, um, what's his name's daughter? Uh-huh. Okay. What's his name's daughter? <laughs> From the first book. Why can't Second I? Second book. Second book. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. In the first book. No. Second book. First book. Second book. Well, what's the name of the first book? Then, if it's the second book. It's the brother in the first book. No. Yes. It's what's his butt? That's no. That's the first book. No, it is the second book. Really? Yes. Let me show you. I can't look at my phone because we're recording. Are you, like, manipulating? No. Lesson in Corruption is the first book. Oh, so I never read that one. Yeah. I went straight to Welcome to the Dark Side. Okay, sorry. Book. I concede. Welcome. And his name is Daddy Zeus. Zeus, that's right. Okay. Harley Rose is Zeus's daughter from the second book. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so anyways, Harley kills a man. And instead of saying, Mama, I killed a man, she calls Lion Danner, the police officer. Dun, dun, dun. I am riveted with excitement over reading this book that okay so the next book on my list is dirty monsters by katie ray and zoe drake so all i know when i grabbed this book is the tropes that she had out it looks like she's a nurse he's his patient there is some obsessive stuff going on here this one's darker this one it says it's taboo um that's all i really need to know Th that's all i need to know i think it's something about single parent maybe i could be wrong I don't, I don't need to know anything else. I'll be on this one. We're good. Okay. Next up, Beautiful Center by Sarah Kate. This is about Cadence, who is the sister in, to, in Beautiful Monster. And so this is hinted at a little bit in Beautiful Monster. So I was like, ooh, I need to read this. So Cadence ends up on the doorstep, stranded far from home of a priest. good priest wouldn't spend his days thinking about the fullness of her ruby red lips or feel the sting of envy with the way she draws men to her like flies to honey. The Flame King's Captive by Chloe Chastain. This is actually, this is uh, the other pen name for Lilith Vincent. So this oh, is, I was like, where did this book come it's from? It's Lilith Vincent. So okay. Lilith, so this is, this is her fantasy, um, Omegaverse, Reverse Harem, Breeding. Oh, shit. It's got it's <laughs> it's got it all, guys. It's got it all. So um, I've been wanting to read this one for a long time. So it's on the list. So I'm gonna try and make it happen this month. Okay, my next book is Rogue by Katie Ray. This is part of her military romance series, and this is about Avery and Quinn, and they're both working on a ship together. They're supposed to be doing an investigation, but they're having an affair. And it's forbidden and completely inescapable, becoming more scandalous than the investigation we were conducting. I don't know a ton about this. I just read Ranger and I enjoyed it. And so she suggested I continue on with the series. So I picked up and I'm going to continue on with the series. Okay. Because I do what I'm told because I'm a good girl. She got that on a bracelet today. I'm sure. Actually, it was a sticker. Okay, all right. All right, so then I have Make Me Lie by C.R. Jane. So grab this today. Mm. Um, yeah, this one, the heroine's father is a serial killer. And um, that's pretty much all we know about this. It is reverse harem and um, it's a trilogy. And she was like, it's really good. It was, these were one of the last books she had left over. And I was like, you know what? You had me at dark reverse harem serial killer's daughter. I, I don't know that you need to know much more than that. So. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, it sounds. 
It actually sounds really good when, when she was talking about it. Very thrilling. Very thrilling. Good job. Yeah. The Pucking Wrong Guy by mm. Sierra Jane. Have you read this? I was waiting for audio, but it doesn't come back to like February. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a long way. So this is about Ari, and he shows up in LA to get back. Oh, what's her name? Oh, there's texting in this. I love texting and pen pal stuff. I love that. Blake. Her name's Blake, and he shows up to get her, and he tells her that she's the one he's been searching for for years, and that he's never going to let her go. I heard that Ari makes, um, from the fucking wrong number, what was his name? I heard that Ari makes the guy in the fucking wrong number, why can't I think of his name, uh, look quite like the good boy compared yeah. to the stuff he does. So I'm very excited to see what Ari does. Awesome. That's what I've heard. I don't know. Okay. All right. So okay. then for the last book, my last book, I have Where Waves Break by Julia Wolf. So this is a nanny romance. Um, that says, my new boss is a former rock star turned grumpy mechanic, a single dad, and my teenage crush. Ooh. So, okay. yeah, and, and I, I love Is that from romances. Seasons Change? Cool. This is from Seasons Change. So, yes. All right. So, that is our November TBR. Let's see how well we can stick with it. And we will be working on our adjectives. <laughs> we'll to be, describe how we feel about books. We'll be getting some sleep before our next video. Yes. I'm going to hold you to reading all 15 of those books. Mm. Not likely. Okay. You better do it. Yeah. Or I'm going to tell your husband how many books you bought at this thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> Rude much. Make sure you check back on Mondays and now Wednesdays for Romance School 101. Jessica might offer a finance <laughs> class in there. <laughs> Book math. <laughs> book math. Uh, <laughs> Girl book math, not boy book math. And then also Thursdays and Saturdays for new videos from us. So tell us what is on your November TBR. How did you do in October? Did you make a TBR? Did you stick to it? Did you bomb like us? Yeah. Hey, I got six. That's the best I got I've four. done. The six is the best I've done. So I'm getting better. I'm not failing. Yeah. 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 So yes. So tell us what's on your TBR for November. And have you ever read a good Thanksgiving book? This is my first time trying to find Thanksgiving books. So these are like my only two that I found. Mm -hmm. But I thought it might be fun to read them yeah. over Thanksgiving. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.